Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So we have seen many machine learning algorithms and based on that we have tried to implement many visualization and projects. Okay, so now in this video I am going to show you one simple way to create image classification project in MATLAB. Okay, using machine learning, not deep learning because in deep learning if you use transfer learning approach with some pre-trained network, you can easily do image classifier with uh, just changing or modifying two, three layers. Okay, right? That example also I have shown you using AlexNet. Okay, now suppose we want to apply the machine learning approach to perform image classification. That time, what is the problem? The fundamental problem in that case is the machine learning model require the features okay and that any model any machine learning model cannot extract the feature by itself so for that different algorithms are there like for example you can consider hog feature extraction histogram of oriented gradient okay then lbp local binary pattern very very important feature extraction these two based on this for example, uh, project also I have shown one is emotion recognition, okay, that is sorrow or happy or neutral face, right? And then I have shown you using HOG, I have shown you digit recognition or digit classification in between 0 to 9 like those, okay? Now, the feature extraction is one of the very, very important part, which features you need to select, which you need to ignore that particular part you need to do wisely and very carefully then only your machine learning model is going to have high accuracy right now if you consider the deep learning the layers are arranged such that it extract the feature by itself we just need to pass the images right so uh, the problem in that case is only one thing that it takes huge time and many deep learning uh, as uh, in deep learning there is no specific uh, rule it creates the rule from the models so basically it is going to take more time now suppose you want to make such project in which you want to apply machine learning but you want that the feature extraction part is performed using some pretend model okay right try to understand pretend model extract the feature by itself okay so suppose all those extracted feature you want to use in any machine learning model so that the uh, it takes less time to create the image classifier like that how you can do that's what i am going to show you with one very interesting data set that is football classification okay and if you love playing football or games right you will enjoy this project so here we will be having basically two different uh, football types one is american football another one is uh, soccer okay so now we need to classify or predict which image is belonging to which class okay so here you can download the data set i have already downloaded and here in training i'll be basically having two classes american and soccer okay the american you can understand this one right and the soccer is this one right and this is our what about our training data okay two classes and for testing purpose also it has given two this is uh, american and this one is test data for soccer okay and two difficult image it has given classify the two pictures one is for american another one is for soccer but this is not easy one right because you can see that here not only uh, image of football is present along with that the background is also present which is not clear okay let it load uh, it will take some time because yes see the along with football the background image is not suppressed and same like this case also for this american football image the background is not clear so if our model is able to predict these two classes properly then we can say that our machine learning model accuracy is quite high right so this is american sugar right so how to write the code before moving ahead i will request you to go through this particular documentation because this is going to help us a lot extract images features using pre-trained network so we are just going to extract the features 
using pretend network not we are going to create the classifier okay the link i'll be providing in the description box you can go through that so here is the code first what i have done first we need to create the uh, classifier here i am using svn okay clc clear all closure warning off loading the alexnet which is pretend classifier as you know then if you want to check the layers you can write this one layers equal to net dot layers right then okay let me just run this particular part okay so it will take some time to load and here you can check layers okay l a y e r s and here many layers will be getting the extracted features we will be getting from this fc7 layer fully connected fc7 layer okay that is 20th layer of our alexnet pretend network so i am taking here feature layer equal to fc7 okay then i am taking my image data store okay what is the image data store name where training data is present both class see that is training file name is that folder name is training inside which two sub folders are present and inside those two sub folders the actual images are present where one sub folder is for american football another one is for soccer okay so this is training then include sub folders true because inside that our sub folders are present then label source label source are for our classifier is nothing but folder names okay so what you do after downloading uh, remember this thing you just give the proper name okay this is just rename those folders whatever will be present inside as american and soccer and if they are present outside somewhere then put both training set in one single folder with the name training okay keep this in mind right then what i am doing i am extracting the training labels okay for each image whatever level is present and now what is the uh, required image format input image size for alexnet 227 cross 227 okay that you can extract using this layer 1 okay if you just run this particular part of the code net dot layer dot input size you will be getting 227 cross 227 cross 3 because this is color image right then what we are doing now whatever image is present in my data store might not be 227 cross 227 right so i am creating an augmented image data store inside which we will basically receive all our images to this input size okay that's what we are doing here now we are extracting all the features using this pretend alexnet from the fc7 layer okay this is the code feature training equal to activations net which is basically alexnet then augmented training data store i am passing feature layers okay which is basically fc7 you can directly give here also and output as rows okay right we no need this one then we are creating the classifier using fit c c o c for svm classifier feature train training features we are passing and then training labels also okay whatever we are extracted here we have extracted here for each image either that is american or soccer okay and then saving the classifier so that each time we we no need to train the model again and again so obviously this step is going to take huge time because feature extraction is there then creating the model is there and svm as you know uh, svm takes little time for uh, its algorithm purpose right and then we are saving so in this particular stage you have to wait little bit until this all these steps are performed okay so once this step is done see here your classifier dot mat this uh, pre this trained classifier is stored so the next time when you are uh, testing some image you can simply load that and you no need to do this uh, training part again and again and for testing image i have written this code okay see simple clc clear all close all warning off load classifier we are loading the classifier and loading the alexnet you can ignore this layer extraction part and feature layer equal to fc7 okay then clc i am writing if you want you can ignore here no problem because here we are writing clc okay then using user uh, we are taking one file so ui get file user will choose any test image right and then what we are doing if user is pressing cancel then it has to be shown in comment window user pressed cancel has to be shown else 
what we are doing we are reading the image like this i have shown you already that how to uh, read image using ui get file right so this is what it is doing then what we are doing then we are resizing that to 227 cross 227 because alexnet required this input format only then we are extracting the features for this particular test data and then we are using predict function to predict that class and we are showing that display care of gs okay run this whole code it will take some time for loading all this pre-trained classifier and this classifier whatever we have created and see one uh, this kind of uh, box will open where we can traverse and choose any test image so first i will go to american okay and choose one american football okay so there is this one suppose i am choosing which is uh, quite different from others so obviously our model will uh, get a tough question to predict right so i am just choosing this and open this so see here what it is showing the predicted class let's wait see american we have chosen american it is perfectly showing american now let's run once more okay so here it goes suppose this time i am choosing sukar okay this one suppose i am choosing right see what it is giving sukar okay so each time instead of loading i can run this code from this part so that it will be a little bit faster at least so suppose this time one american i am going and to choose and suppose maybe this one i am choosing so our model see it is showing american perfect right now this will be one more step we can go what we can do we can create one gui or graphical user interface okay all the codes will be posted in the description box or in the comment section no need to worry about a single code just you need to download the data and give if you want to just run the code as it is don't forget to give the name as it is okay like here the training inside the training folder our two folders are american and sugar these are basically our training set and these are our test right so now coming to our what gui i have created this kind of gui user interface where heading is football versus sugar or here you can write maybe property inspector american versus sugar is better here okay so here i will change american okay right close this and save this okay here load the svm classifier whatever pre-trained classifier we have created here that has to be loaded okay then select one image using ui get file will choose that image has to be shown here and the prediction output will show here okay this is nothing but what edit text this is nothing but what this is nothing but push button this is nothing but what this is our simply push button for loading the svm classifier this is simply a static test because it is not changing this is also static text this is our axis simple components of our ui get file and this is the code okay the code i will be posting in the description box or in the comment section you can easily understand from that because many you uh, gui code graphical user interface i have discussed on so no, nothing new here main code is just training and testing which i have already discussed run this particular code okay load the svm classifier it will take some time and once loading is done you can basically classify the image select an image okay so suppose i am going to sukar and choose this one open okay the image is showing here whatever we are choosing no not showing only prediction output is showing perfectly right so what we'll do we'll change the code such that it will show here right so let me do that modification so where i will go when select an image is showing here this side i have to write handles dot access one although one only present no problem i am show ab right run this code let's check now load svm classifier select an image suppose this time i am choosing one american this one i am choosing okay open some error i am getting i guess one second just
handles.axis1 oh sorry i have given wrong name here this will be basically axis1 okay right run this code load select image see image is showing and this is so good perfectly classifying yes select an image american one maybe we can choose which one suppose let us choose this one this should be american okay see american okay right select an image one more american i can choose maybe suppose this one which is completely vertical see it is showing american so this is how our project is working i hope you enjoyed this just what we have learned new thing the new thing what we have understood is how to extract the features using the pretend network and then apply the feature extracted feature for training the machine learning model anything that may be knn that may be svm that may be decision tree or whatever according to your choice okay and then predicting the output okay so this particular thing will increase your accuracy by huge amount instead of going for a uh, hog or lbp because here in this case when you are using pretend network for which the accuracy is obviously very high it is going to give you good features edge detection perfectly uh, binary large object detection perfectly and then many more features are present it will predict and give you right so using this if you train any machine learning model obviously the accuracy will increase and as you are using machine learning so the problem of deep learning is also overcome like for deep learning you might require gp we might require many images you might require huge time and here in fastest way you can predicting everything right so this is the beauty of combining both uh, deep learning pre trained network and machine learning right i hope you have enjoyed this all the course will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can check there thank you for watching